the Quran does not tell us. The Quran does not preach an, a, a generic hatred of everybody else. In fact, in one of the most uh, powerful verses in the Quran that's addressed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah tells him, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءَ You're not going to guide those whom you love. Rather, Allah guides those whom He wills. And this is well known that this verse was revealed at the death of the uncle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Talib. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was greatly grieved that to Towards the end, he did not accept Islam and he died still believing in the, in the idols. And Allah says, you cannot guide those whom you love. And the Arabic word is ahbabta, which is hub. And therefore, this verse clearly demonstrates that the Prophet Muhammad had hub for his uncle who was not a Muslim. And so how can anybody claim that Islam tells us to preach or preaches that we have to hate people of other faiths? Quite the contrary. Uh, Allah is very explicit in the Quran that even if your parents are idol worshippers, they're forcing you to, to worship their false gods. Don't worship those gods, but treat them with the utmost respect, with the utmost good treatment. And it's natural that children are gonna have love for their parents regardless of the beliefs of their parents. This deen came to bring dignity to all human beings. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam. Allah says we gave respect to the children of Adam. I'll say that again. Allah says Allah gave respect to who? To who? Children of Adam. So every child of Adam alayhi salam has been given respect by who? By Allah. How do you not give them respect? Allah gives them respect, you don't give them respect. And you think Islam tells you to disrespect them? Islam tells you to look at them as evil? You don't even understand the ayah when Allah talks about mushrikun being najas. Where is the ayah? Where does it occur? What surah does it occur in? What context does it occur in? And how does it apply? We don't want to know because we just want to look at the surface and not study deeply. We don't have the time to study deeply. This is all the opposite of wisdom. Has Allah created other beings? Or are we the only creation of Allah? That is the question.